Hi, I'm Cybex author William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the remote access role on a Windows Server 2012 R2 system. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open Server Manager. So you do that by clicking the Server Manager icon on the start bar. Once Server Manager is fully loaded, we're going to go ahead and click on the link for Add Roles and Features. At the Before You Begin screen, just go ahead and click Next. The Remote Access is a role-based installation, so we're going to choose role-based or feature-based. Click Next. At the Select Destination Server, we're going to choose our server here, Server A. Select Next. Then I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here, Remote Access. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Next. At the Select Features screen, I'm just going to go ahead and click Next. Then it's going to give me a little bit about remote access, direct access, VPNs, that kind of stuff. You can take a moment and read it, and then when you're done, choose Next. Then it's going to ask, what do you want to install here? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to check the first two, direct access and VPN. And I'm going to click Add Features and Routing, and then I'm going to click Next. At the confirmation screen, I'm going to go ahead and confirm everything. Now I always, if you've been watching my videos, you've seen I always check the restart box. And I'm going to go ahead and click install. Now the system's going to go ahead and install this. I'm going to stop the video and once the install completes, I'll finish the video up. Once the features and roles finish getting installed, we're going to go ahead and click close. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually close the Server Manager dashboard. I'm going to click on the Start button and choose Administrative Tools. Then once the Administrative Tools box appears, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the Routing and Remote Access. Once the Routing and Remote Access MMC appears, I'm going to go ahead and click on my server. I'm going to right click on the server and I'm going to say configure and enable routing and remote access. At the welcome screen I'm going to say next. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose custom configuration here on the bottom and I'm going to choose next. Then I'm going to choose VPN access and choose next. I'm going to go ahead and choose finish. Then at this point we're going to go ahead and start the service and that's it. I'm going to go ahead and click finished. I'm going to go ahead and close routing and remote access. In this video, I showed you how to install remote access onto a Windows Server 2012 R2 data center system.